Hi, this is Dan McKeown. Let's talk a little bit about grunt. Grunt can do some jobs that you need get to get done as a web developer, and they need to be done repetitively. Uh, and so uh, they call uh, grunt the uh, JavaScript task runner. And I think uh, when you see uh, what we can do with it, I think you'll you'll have an idea about what that means. Uh, so if you need to get started, um, you, you need to uh, make sure you have uh, NPM, uh, which is the Node uh, Package Manager. Um, I'm sure if you've used it in the last several months, you've seen that private NPM is here. That's always there. And um, it is a, a way to get a lot of great software, um, much of it uh, in the uh, JavaScript uh, ecosystem. And uh, once you've uh, gone through the uh, getting started, uh, page on uh, the Grunt website, uh, you will be able to start uh, configuring your Grunt file and um, making sure that you have all the node um, modules necessary in your package.json. So here we have a Grunt file uh, and um, we take a look at that, we scroll down. Uh, what I have is I have uh, uh, one task registered with my uh, grunt uh, set up here. Uh, it's just the default task. Now when you name it default, that means that you can just run it and it will run every uh, task that you have chained to that. So here you can see it running and you can see that those uh, tasks that uh, whether you're converting uh, CSS to minified CSS or if you're uglifying JavaScript, you're turning SCSS into CSS. Uh, this thing also has a markdown converter and if uh, coffee script to JavaScript tool and a few other things. Now, um, one of the limitations of doing everything in this default task uh, setup is that you can only do um, one thing really, uh, at least in, in a simple uh, fashion, to each type of file. So if you want to convert uh, JavaScript uh, from ES6 to ES5 using something like Babel, then you won't be able to also uglify it inside the default task. Now the way I solve that is I also use gulp with uh, specific name tasks. Uh, but you could also have a, a parallel grunt installation. Either way, um, when we take a uh, look at the files that have been built now, you can see that just now, uh, 533, a minute ago, this set of files uh, was created. So we're um, uh, feeding in the, uh, the files such as uh, this underscore.js uh, 1.83 uh, source code is in uh, its uh, uh, normal form. And then in the uh, build folder, uh, we're going to see here, this has been uglified. And so the same way, uh, a lot of those, uh, th those conversion tasks have been done um, with my uh, grunt file. So here in uh, Atom, we can take a look at the source code to it uh, again really quick. But basically, it's, 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 it's kind of a configuration-based system. So e each uh, task we configure to use uh, the uh, built-in uh, tool down here. Now, what the way to get these, for example, the uh, SAS uh, converter, grunt-contrib-sas, uh, the way we would find that is we would go and and find it uh, in NPM. But what I'd recommend is go to the Grunt.js website and then actually do the do the search. There's a plugin search like right here. And so here we can search for SAS and that'll come up right here. And then we can go and find it on NPM. Of course, from there, this is how we uh, add it. Um, or we can just list it in the package.json and then just type npm install. So that is a uh, walkthrough of uh, my uh, uh, simple default task based grunt setup.